So I was in the card shop today, and they were pretty much completely sold out of anything Chrome. So I decided to pick up a Hobby Box 2021 update. 75 bucks sounds like a pretty good deal to me. So I was like, you know what? I'll try this out. I haven't opened any update yet this year. Got some pretty good rookies in here. India, probably the top one. Rookie of the year, obviously. <clears throat> Jared Koenig's another one. Kiel Badu, those are probably the top three. Some people like Taylor Trammell. Some people like your mean Mercedes for some reason. He's in there. I'm gonna bother folding that up. The camera actually on here. You got 24 packs, plus your silver pack. These cards are pretty cool, I'm open this first. Andrew Vaughn, that's another one. Forgot about him. That's the next one. Ortiz, Torres, and Judge. Let's insert they throw in there. Should have seen that one up a while. Andrew Vaughn's probably the guy who's set up in the best situation of any of these rookies. Chicago's definitely a contender. For years to come. Right. I'm not going to stop and talk about every player either. I'm not trying to have this video take an hour. Rainbow foil. Pagan. Ted Williams. 52 design, I think. Yep. I think Madrigal will debut. You get all the debuts in here too of all the rookies. Good rookies in one pile. Get that out of here. Sean Kim. That's a nice one. Speaking of Trammell, there's a gold debut. It's pretty nice. Let's sleeve that one up. How old is he? Ninety-seven, twenty-four. Nice. It's a pretty good one. Two pretty good ones. Or hey, Mateo. Sort of insert going on in here. Saw some red. Six to Sanchez. I don't even think he played this year. Cruz 86 design. these piles. Guess I'll put all the parallels in one. There's Vaughn's debut. Kiel Badu. It's one of the guys we're looking for.
Rose All Star. Joe Doe. Do a sleeve there. Just set it right there. Just a base rookie. It's pretty well centered. Like grid out nice. Alright, Bo Bichette. Fake auto. 1982, that's what it is. Logan Gilbert. Some guys like him too. Keep him on the might be good pile. debut a lot of people aren't happy with him in Philly since he got set, sent down but he'll be back in a little bit just needs to work on his fielding a little bit if he's going to play third I hate how he flipped these things all over the place I don't know if they produced way more of update or something, but $75 for a hobby box is, sounds like a pretty good deal to me. Like 300 and some cards. Guaranteed hit, probably gonna be a relic, but still. Some backwards here. Ian Anderson. Luis Patini, what is that? Short print, maybe? Luis Patino. I guess that's a short print. Let's check the numbers. That's how you tell if it's a short print or not. Check the numbers down here and it's different. So yeah, it's a short print. Rookie short print. Pretty nice. guys like that. What else is in here? Pretty good box so far. Got a good rookie out of silver. Gold rookie. Short print rookie. Most of the cards you're gonna get out of here are gonna be rookies because all the veterans already have their base cards in series one and series two. And you have all the debuts in here so increases your odds to get a Rookie parallel for sure. Mount Castle. Debut. Something else backwards. Taylor Trammell, another Trammell parallel. Geez. It's a good Trammell box. It's not numbered, I guess it's, oh, it's blue. I see. Cool. I know some people pretty high on him. Not a bad one to get, considering there's tons of rookies in here. All right. 
looked like trout for a second. I was like, he doesn't have a card in here. Cronenworth. He's not a rookie this year, technically, but his first card was in Series 2. Otherwise, he probably would have won Rookie of the Year. I haven't gotten our guaranteed hit yet. Is there a relic or an auto? I'd say probably 70-80% of the time it's going to be a relic, but still guaranteed. Got another Trammell. Was the base 86 design? Jeez. Sure did load him up in this box. Not gonna lie though, I would not be mad if I got a Trammell Auto. He had a rough season, but. Mariners pretty much called up all their top prospects and said, here, this is your spot this year. Same thing with Kelnick. They almost made the playoffs off it, so I guess they know what they're doing. There's a Vaughn base rookie. Keep wanting to put the cards down here for some reason. India debut. There we go. Joey Bart tops black gold. Yeah, they just started making these for update. I saw a couple videos with these in them. I'm from the 92 or 93, I think. Doesn't say. Pretty cool. Let's see that one. Bart's gonna, definitely going to get some playing time next year now that Posey's retired. A lot of people like him. Little thing on the bottom right corner. But nice. Let's set that on top of the rookies here. As Chisholm rookie debut. Oops, just lost him. Got a rainbow foil in here. John Lester. I forget that he's even still in the league. A good career though. No Kelnick yet. Got India's debut, but not his base yet. Javier Baez wearing a Cubs jersey. The Mets are going to re-sign him. Started picking it up a little bit there near the end of the season. After Chicago decided to clear house. There's India. Probably the best one you can get out of any of this year's. Another Vaughn. <laughs> Got a nice pile in the center of all the rookie inserts, huh? Only one gold so far. I think two silver foils. 
if I get one or two more. Something blue. Let's see what that is. I think it's a die cut. Yep, Whitey Ford. Not a huge fan of these, kind of annoying to keep with all your other cards. Stevenson debut. Close to the bottom here. Four packs, 14 cards each, plus the four card silver pack. Get pretty much everybody out of the base set if you just buy one hobby box, which is nice, especially at 75 bucks. Complete sets almost go for that now. Oh, you didn't see that yet. Brandon Crawford. Event worn memorabilia. It's a piece of the studio war to the after party. No, I'm just playing. Could be. There's our hit. All-Star Stitches Relic Card. Yeah, there it is. All-Star Game Festivities. A thing going on in the corner. I'll take it. Brandon Crawford, he finished like, I think fourth and NL MVP voting. Giants came out of nowhere this year. It's like 59 point. Just does fit. Brandon Crawford. Him up right there. Still got, I think, eight packs left. Yep, just another layer underneath there. And the one numbered card so far. Manoa, another rookie. Probably top 10 rookie out of this. Taylor Trammell debut. Put that on his pile. A nice Taylor Trammell collection going. I have to read up a little bit more about him and start piecing in a little. Something numbered. It's a gold. Marcus Simeon. It's not bad. Third in AL MVP voting. Twenty twenty one. Forget how long he's been in the league. Put him up there with Crawford. start to the season until he hit a home run off a position pitcher. And he 
his coach got mad at him. There we go. Mike Trout, 86. I'm sorry. A lot of people already picking him to come back next year and win MVP. That is fourth one, I think. There's Trinnell's base. Kelnick yet. I wonder if they short printed him. It's probably the I mean India is the guy you want since he won rookie of the year, but Kelnick probably has the highest upside out of any of them. Played a full season center field, let alone you know, like twenty or twenty one years old. He's got a high ceiling. Platinum Glover again. This glove is insane. That is the best glove in the league. At least a third. There's Kalnick's debut. sorts of ways. Joey Bart debut. It was a Vlad All-Star game. Rookie combos are the two Mariners rookies. I have no idea who they are. That's how it is sometimes. This pack feels thick. Already got her hit. I don't know why it would unless they put one too many cards in here. Maybe I'm just imagining things. Or something. And two number cards and both golds. Kind of hoping for at least one other one. Unless I missed something, which is not completely impossible. Sam Huff debut. Key Brian debut, that's nice. Man's got a huge upside as well. Carlson debut, probably my favorite guy out of this year. A great season, switch hitter. Good glove. It's Kevin Gosman. back of an 86 card again, if I had to guess. I never got Kellnick's base. Unless I missed it. <laughs> Derek Jeter, 86. Right, that's it. Not a bad box. 
nice box if you're a Taylor Chanel fan, that's for sure. All right. Appreciate you guys watching.